Okay, babe. Can you tell them the story on how we first met? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so seven years ago, when we were single, supple, young, right? Why'd you stop? What was that? Who's what? Well, why are you making that face? Keep going. Why'd you stop all of a sudden? Okay. So like I said, seven years ago, she used to work at a boba tea shop. I've never had boba at that point. Mm -hmm. And I walked in, I saw her. She was looking like a sh Why do you keep stopping? What the heck was that? What was what? What is wrong with your face? <laughs> do you want me to tell a story? I'm like having to sign it because you're like, just, like all over the place. I'm like what's wrong smiling. with you? It looks like you're having a stroke. The stitches mess up your face or something? What's wrong with you? Dang, babe, can you scoot over? I'm about to fall off the side of the bed. No, I don't have any space over there, baby. You don't have any space? No. <laughs> Tell me why my husband likes to ask me where things are around the house as if he doesn't live here himself. You have a mental map of where everything is. Why would no! I okay, so literally this morning, Andy was making breakfast, right? And I was downstairs getting ready, and I just hear him from upstairs go, Babe, where's the ketchup? And I'm like, babe, it's in the fridge. It's literally always been in the fridge since we got ketchup. It has where not in the fridge? moved. Yeah, he's like, where? I don't see it. I can't find it. So then I start walking upstairs and I'm purposefully stopping so oh, that I he can nervous. get a little scared. I and I'm nervous. like, babe, I swear if I find it, as soon as I get there, I'm going to find it. I swear, I look everywhere. I look on the doors. I look in the freezer. Like, why is it going to be in the freezer? He I'm says he looks as in he just peeks, doesn't move anything to I look. look. So then I will come upstairs and I'll open the door. I'm like... Babe, it's literally right there. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like she's she, it's like she's a witch. She's a witch, okay? It just magically appears after I literally scour through all the shelves. When she walks up the stairs, of course it's just magically where it's supposed to be. I don't understand. It's How is that you're my not fault? Looking. I am looking. I'm using my eyeballs and I'm trying to look as much as I can, but you magically make it appear. How's that fair? It's literally in the same exact place. It's not fair. <laughs> my wife likes to ruin her own day, and I'll give you an example of why. You <laughs> this morning, we went to breakfast at a huge brunch spot. We were eating, we were having fun, laughing, going back and forth. And then we walk out. And of course, my wife, being the wife that she is, has to ask me a hypothetical question once a day. And so she goes, Henny, I, I saw a comedian on TikTok talk about, oh, if you could be an animal, what would you be? And she said, if I was an animal, I'd be a lioness. Yeah. Because lioness are strong women. Independent. They run with their girls. They are, you can do things for themselves and they don't need no man, yeah. right? And I was like, okay, cool. That's great, honey. And she goes, so what would you be, honey? And knowing her and what type of answer that she would want, I asked, oh, like, is there a wrong answer? She goes, no, there's no wrong answer. Just, just answer truthfully. And I was like, okay, in that case, since I'm a 5'8 short king, I want to be a giraffe because giraffes, they're like this tall. They can look down at you. Like that's, that's awesome, right? Why I've never- you want to be a giraffe? I, honey, I can see predators from far away. Like, I have a very strong kick. I'm very practical about these things. And then she Why goes, would you not be a lion? <laughs> Why would you not be a lion? I said lioness. You don't want to be my lion? You don't want to date in the animal world? <laughs> what are you talking about? I would take my girl lions and eat your giraffe. Ladies, why do you guys tell your man that you're just going to go window shopping and when in reality you're not trying to window shop at all? <laughs> this morning, we went to the mall. And we were walking around window shopping, as in looking with our eyes and not spending any money. And then she gets to that one store, that one store she can't help but go in. And so we go in and she picks up a piece and she goes, oh my gosh, like, this is so cute. Like, Very cute. I kind of want to try it on. And then she side eyes me and I go, go try it on. She goes, okay. <laughs> she runs into the changing room. I'm waiting there. And she comes out and she's like, oh my gosh, babe, this looks so good on me, right? And I'm like, yeah, honey, it looks so good. And she goes, yeah, but like, I bought something last week, so I shouldn't buy this one. <laughs> And she like looks at me with those puppy eyes. She, with those puppy eyes, she goes, I shouldn't buy this one. And I go, fine. And she goes, okay. And she goes back in. And that's the trap. That's the trap. Once you say yes, it's too late. She gets another it's jacket. Back. She gets a pair of pants. And she gets the whole outfit together. And she goes, oh my gosh, babe. I have to buy the rest too. And I'm like, I, I, I guess, honey. I guess. <laughs> and so now we just came back with seven bags. Sorry. I had to carry seven bags up the stairs. Because I decided to say yes to her window shopping. It's a trap. <laughs> Don't believe them. My wife, Michelle, never learns her lesson. And I'll tell you why. Yesterday, she got her wisdom teeth extracted. She got two pulled. And as you can tell, she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's extremely swollen. Oh okay? my God. She's not supposed to be this swollen, but she is. And I'll tell you why. Yesterday, the doctor told me while she was intoxicated with a bunch of uh, sed sedatives and stuff like that. 
so she wasn't awake. The doctor had told me clear instructions. No solid food, no popcorn, no chips, just soups, puddings, yogurt, and that's it. And I told her this. I told her, hey, the doctor told me to tell you this. Don't eat this, this, and this. And she goes along and starts eating chips and popcorn and whatever she wants. And now, hot Cheetos. and this morning we had to go back and get her stitches redone because they tore and she didn't listen to me. Okay. And here's the greatest part about this situation. We go in and the dentist oh obviously God. got upset and was like, it's only been one day. What happened? And I told him what happened. I told him, I told you exact, I told her exactly what you told me to tell her and she didn't listen. And then she, he obviously goes on to reprimand her. Let's call him uh, dentist Calvin. Okay, very good looking dude. But then Calvin tells her, hey, you need to stop doing this and you need to stay away from these things. And she goes, I'm sorry, okay. What, why? All of a sudden, she doesn't listen to me, but she listens to Dr. Dentist Calvin. Is it because he's better looking than me? I mean, this is- kind I mean, okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. Baby, what are you doing? I don't want to hear anything from you. Did you just come back from your gynecologist, honey? It's gynecologist. Dr. Shepard, yes. Dr. Oh, how babe, I, I had an appointment with Dr. Shepard. Anyways, you're not going that? to Dr. Shepard anymore. I called and canceled your membership there, and uh, I watched a couple videos. It didn't look that hard, so. Why are you putting on gloves? Because Where did you even get those? Honey, I'm your new doctor. <laughs> okay? I can do this. Don't they just, like, you know, look no, at me? No! That then, was Honey, fun. swabbing. I can swab. I swab my ear. I can swab That's you. Not the same I can swab thing. you, okay? That is Honey, not the same no more thing. going to Dr. Shepard. He's way too good looking, okay? I can't deal with that. So, it's nice and sanitized, Miss Patient. Please take a seat. Dr. Andy at your service. All right? You're unbelievable. I'm ready for you. Place your feet right up here, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wait, Bubby. What? What is this? Honey, that's a panty liner. Well, okay? I know. I did my research, okay? I, I know you need these. Well, I know it's a panty liner, but why is it in your wallet? For emergencies, honey. Maybe sometimes, you know, your time of the month sneaks up on you and... <laughs> you know, you sneeze too loud and then there's a blowout down there. What? I have what? it. I have it for that. Well, how'd okay? you know I used this one? I mean... I looked in the cabinet, it was the first blue thing I saw. I was like, okay, I'll get the blue one. And then there was like <laughs> this one and then like a larger size. And I was like, oh, I'll get the mini because it's, you know, it's more compact. Well, I mean, this one isn't what that's for, but A for effort. Thank you, baby. You're so sweet. <laughs> Wait, what? Anybody else's wife, girlfriend, significant other, just turn off their brain whenever they're with you? Because for me, this one over here, obviously she's with me all the time, completely shuts off her brain when we're in public. So today, we're walking across the street, ah, walking across the street, there was a red light, a truck runs a red light, almost hits her, I pull her away, last second, of course, and she's like, oh, and I'm like, what do you mean, oh, honey, you almost got hit by a truck, and she goes, that's why you're here, honey, and I'm like, that's why you're here, that's why, that's why I'm here, yeah, so what if I wasn't there, honey, okay? But well, you were, did you save me? I mean, yeah, I did. Okay, then it's because I trust you. It's because she, you know, next time I'm not going to say that. I'm not gonna. Does anybody's wife or significant other just randomly lose their appetite all of a sudden because you tell them, oh, I don't really want what you're having? <laughs> huh? So today we were going grocery shopping. I'm like, eh, shopping, shopping. Okay. We go to the frozen aisle, obviously, where there's ice cream and she loves ice cream. And she sees and she's like, oh, fruit bars. And that one's really good, honey. I want some. And I was like, cool, get it. I don't, I don't really want any, but you should get it. And she goes. I did not do and that. And then she, she like carefully throws it back into the freezer and she goes. I'm okay, I don't want any more. And then she like because stomps off. And I'm like, honey, you just told me two seconds ago it, you, that you wanted fruit bars. Don't let me decide if you get fruit bars or not. If you want fruit bars, get fruit bars. This it's also happens. Not, this I also happens. This also happens for meals as well, right? She goes, <laughs> oh, honey, I'm really feeling burgers. I really want burgers. And I was like, cool, I can drive you, honey. Let's go. I don't really want any because I'm not hungry like that right now. But you should, I can drive you. You can go. And she goes, because. I don't really want burgers anymore. All of a sudden, you just told me literally five seconds ago that you wanted burgers, honey. Debbie, it's because we're a team. I want to eat together. We're I don't want to eat by myself. And I don't want you to eat by yourself. I just like it when we eat together. You just like it when we eat together? Mm. Fine. <laughs> Guys, I made a freaking mistake, okay? First off, let's just address the obvious. Look at how good she looks. Give me a little swirl, honey. You look absolute. She looks absolutely stunning, okay? Anyways. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. I surprised her with a little... I got her some shoes or whatever. I, we have an event tonight, so I was like, I'll get her some shoes. In Korean culture, you're not supposed to get women's shoes, okay, for, for their gifts and stuff. Because in Korean culture, they say, oh, they're going to walk out of your life. But I have a little bit of a different problem. It's not that she's going to go away. She's already, you know, she's, she's ringed up. She, I put a ring on it. She ain't going nowhere. But look at the problem I have. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 
Why are you so shocked? Anyways, I'm not used to her seeing eye to eye with me like that, okay? Uh, it, it was never supposed to be like that. She's supposed to look up at me, so I feel like, oh, I'm here to protect you, honey. It's okay, I'm here to... babe. We love short kings. <laughs> I know how to fix this. I'll be right back. Honestly, I've worn these so many times where I feel like... Like I, they're, pre they're pretty nice, so I'm ready for tonight's event. So, all my short kings out there, don't get your girl heels, okay? Ladies, don't make the same mistake that my wife did, okay? She ruined her own Valentine's Day. It's coming up, but she ruined it already, and I'll tell you how, okay? Yesterday, she got very upset because I, her husband of two years, been married for two, been together for like seven years, had, she was just like, oh, you haven't asked me to meet your Valentine's yet. Yeah. And I was like, honey, Valentine's Day isn't until the 14th. But let me tell you this, okay? She was like, you haven't planned anything. You haven't asked me to be your Valentine's Day. You haven't, you haven't done anything for me. And so she got really upset, like really, really upset. And I was like, honey, just, just wait. Without giving it away, I was like, I was like, please, just don't ask me anymore. Just wait. Because I had something planned for the 14th. Okay, I had something planned. I had something mad. We we're gonna go to Disneyland. I was gonna take her to Sweetheart Night. We we're gonna have a nice dinner. But she ended up just pressing me and she was like, What are we doing? What are we doing? And so I told her. I told her what we were doing because she got very upset. And then she got even more upset that yeah. I had told her what we were planning to do. You're not supposed to tell me what you're doing. Are you? You are ruined you, it. I ruined it. You asked me and I just told you what you wanted to hear. And I, I, I just don't understand women. Okay? Don't ask your boyfriend or your husband what we're doing for Valentine's Day. Maybe he's planning. You ruined it. I don't get women. Dang it, I'm all out of underwear. Ooh. I can wear this one more time. I'm all out of underwear? Ooh. I can wear this one more time. Buddy! What? You already wore that three times this week. So? It's time for a wash. It smells wearable. No! Fine. <laughs> so my I know she's the one moment before we got married was um, there was this one time where I was walking home from work and it started to downpour and I didn't have an umbrella and I just started getting soaking wet. And then all of a sudden in the distance, almost like she knew that I didn't have an umbrella. Uh, I saw Michelle on the horizon just running towards me with an umbrella to uh, make sure I wasn't getting too wet and wasn't getting too sick. And uh, that's when I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. I'll show you guys the video. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you. Okay, so my wife has this problem, right? Ever since we got these dang cats, sorry, fur babies, she's been spending nonstop money on our fur babies, okay? We have five litter boxes. Five. We have two cats. That means we should have two litter boxes, but we have five. No. Two for every floor, okay? One. Two each plus one? Okay? Plus, we have, I don't know how many freaking cat towers they need to climb up and look down on us, but we have literally like four or five different cat towers They're for two beautiful. different cats. Okay? Those aren't cheap, honey. And then guess what? Guess what? She went out the other day. She came back giggling at home. Guess what she bought? She bought portraits of the cats. Okay. Not portraits of me. We don't have any pictures of us on our walls, <laughs> but you got the dip. Pictures of the dang cats, honey. I'm sorry, fur babies, honey. Okay, but is it cute or not? It's cute. I guess it's kind of cute. Okay, then. Fine. My wife never listens to me, and this is a perfect example of why she should listen to me. So we just came back from a trip. We went camping for the first time together, and I told her, I was like, hey, it's up in the mountains. It's probably going to be cold. Like... Not the type of cold you see in LA. I'm talking about the cold that makes your bones feel like uh, they're made of ice. And she said, honey, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll be okay. She brought Crocs. She brought Crocs and a t-shirt and maybe like one, like it wasn't even a hoodie. It was like a sweater that could barely keep you warm. Okay. And now after I told her to bring a jacket, which she decided not to do, like always, she's sick.
And guess who's not sick? Me. But we'll probably get sick in the next course of a couple days. Because, you know, I kiss her and stuff. So, might as well both be sick. Listen, ladies. Listen to your man when he tells you to put a jacket on. And maybe... Maybe that won't happen. <laughs> How are you even doing that? Babe, it's so easy. Ready? Watch. I don't understand. Pay attention, okay? Okay, I'm watching. Are you understanding? Are you ready? I think so. Okay. Baby! I, I, I don't get it. Ladies in relationships, are you guys this spoiled? Exhibit A. <laughs> My wife and I have something called the four months of death. For me, it's four months of death. For her, it's four months of joy and gifts. For example, from December, January, February, and March, she gets four months worth of gifts. I'll tell you why. Christmas. She has Christmas in December. We also celebrate our marriage anniversary in December. So she gets two times the gifts in December. January, it's her birthday, birthday. right? Beautiful girl's birthday. So she gets gifts at the end of the month because it's her birthday. February, Valentine's Day just passed. Thank goodness it's still over. I mean, thank goodness it's over. She also gets <laughs> Valentine's Day gifts. March, we used to celebrate our dating anniversary. We started dating in March. So she yeah. used to get gifts from December all the way to March. So that's why, for me, my wallet used to cry. Just every month from December all the way to March. Four months of death. <laughs> four months of death. But for her, she's like, it's not death. It's not that bad. Of course it's not that bad for you because all you get is gifts for four months. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I appreciate her. And that's why it's my choice. I choose to, you know, spoil her. But my wallet ends up just having a conversation with me the next day and be like, what are you doing? So, anyways, until next year. Sayonara, four months of death. <laughs> Can someone explain why women do this? Because my wife, okay, let me give you a little context. We ran out of toilet paper, okay? This morning, I literally had to use one square of toilet paper. I folded it up and I carefully wiped, okay? I, I, I sent her. I was like, we ran out of toilet paper. I know it's very dangerous to send you here, but I'm going to send you a target. Can you please pick up just some toilet paper? Just only toilet paper. <laughs> oh. Ladies mom. and gentlemen, only to- Excuse me, only to- Only to- oh, What is this? For the cat! For the dang fur babies. <laughs> baby lotion? We don't even have a baby yet. I want one, but we don't have one. It's not good. Like, bro, only- only toilet- This is- this is $20. This I is, also got some towels. May I see the receipt, please? No! May I see the receipt? $300. No! $296. And I got a gift card. So And she discount. got a gift card. <laughs> so apparently it's two hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Good job, you can math. <laughs> Baby, you know how you've been wanting to have kids? Yeah. You do realize you have to check the dark for monsters for them, right? Because kids are scared of the dark and they think there's monsters in the dark. You're gonna have to check for uh -uh, them. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I'm not yeah. doing that. Uh-uh. Yes, you do. Ain't no one do that for me. You saw? You're the that's dad. Why, that's why I'm scared of the dog, too. Uh, babe, we're a team, okay? You and I, tag team duo, okay? But you're the dad. You cook, I do the dishes, okay? What? I, You put in the laundry, I fold the laundry, okay? That's just how it works. I take care of the kids and have fun with the kids. I you check the, the dog for monsters. <laughs> Ain't no one do that for hey, me. No. Ain't no one do that. For, do you see me? Like, when, when there's a sound in the middle of the night, I don't hop up. Hey, babe, I'm going to go check it. I go, babe. Hey, hey, <laughs> wake up. That's why you Oh, hey, wake up, babe. Because you're can you scared? Go, can you go check what's over there? and made a weird babe, <laughs> No, you're the dad. They're going to be like, Daddy, I'm scared. There's a monster uh, under my bed. Uh, what are you going to do? They're going to check themselves. They're going to learn so they don't have trauma like me. Uh -uh. I'm going to take a bullet for you. I'll jump in front of a train for you, but you checking the dog. <laughs> what is the point? What is the point in asking your boyfriend, husband, significant other, honey, should I wear this or should I wear this? If you're going to choose the other one that I picked. Okay, for example. Okay, for example. Oh Two dresses, right? Two dresses. She asked me the other day, she was like, Honey, should I wear this one or should I wear this one, right? And I said, Oh, honey, it's probably, well, this one makes you look really slim and um, it's kind of cold outside, so maybe you should go with the one on the right. And then she goes, Okay. And then she walks off. <laughs> and she'll walk back out and she'll wear the other dress, okay? <laughs> and she'll wear the other dress. Like, what's the point of asking me? If you're gonna pick up, does that mean I just always pick the ugly one and that's how you gauge if you're gonna wear that one or this one? To be honest, yeah. And then on top of that, when she gets out there, she's like, oh, I'm a little cold. I'm like, I told you to wear the other one. This one's so revealing. Gosh. Babe, I'm sick of this. You're a woman, I'm a man. I'm tired of you telling me what to do all the time. 
Who's the leader of this house? You. Who makes all the important decisions of this house? You. Okay, then I'm going to decide what I get to do. I'm going to wash the dishes first and then do the laundry and then take the trash out. You understand me? Daddy. What? Can I ask you a really serious question? Okay. <laughs> okay, so if my cooter was... <laughs> Your cooter? Yes, so if my cooter was lined up with a hundred other cooters, would you be able to recognize mine? <laughs> <laughs> Easily. Wait, really? Easily. Your Wait, cooter, how? Your co one is not like the other, okay? <laughs> They're very... Why are you acting like why are you acting like there isn't a mole like a finger length away from your left curtain, honey? Wait, but, yeah, that's how I'm able to differentiate. It's literally a centimeter to the left of your meat curtain, there's a mole my there. Meat curtain. I see that. I see he's like my best friend every time I go down there. Cause you know, I'm very I go down there quite a bit. Oh my god! And every time I go down there, I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> like every time I go down, he's like a bridge so I'm like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Mole? Do you mind if I do you mind if oh I Oh my god, stop don't leave <laughs> your Benny! What? I just came back from the gym and someone slapped my butt! Yeah? Yeah, let's go talk to him! Alright, bet, bet. I'm, hey, I'm done talking. This is what he looks like. Let's go! Come on! He slapped my butt, I didn't like it. Go where? To the gym! We're gonna go talk to him! This guy? Yes! What what did you what did you do to him, honey? I didn't do anything! I was just working out and he slapped my butt for no reason! Let's go talk to him! Come on! Maybe 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 he's having a bad day or something. Why does that matter? Honey, I honey, didn't like it. Maybe take it as a compliment because, you know, your butt looks good, honey. That's probably why he did it. So you don't want to go talk to him? I'll, I'll, um, I'll probably, like, run into the gym and I'll, 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 like, say, what's up? You'll say what's up to the guy that slapped my butt? Wait, how about this? How about this? I'll write a really strongly worded sticky note and I'll <laughs> put it on his... <laughs> hey. He lifts more than me. <laughs> <laughs>